Well, hello there. Today we're going to do a video on proper adjustment of car mirrors to eliminate all blind spots. And at the very end of this video, we're going to do a short segment on proper design of car mirrors for all, our, all you engineers out there. So this is the sweet spot of all correctly adjusted mirrors. Most of the traffic action starts here. So we want to maximize our field of view. Sadly, many people minimize their field of view by adjusting their mirrors to look at their car instead of traffic. So the proper way to set a mirror is uh, two things. Number one, you do not need to see any sky. As you notice here, there's just a sliver of sky in the top. Uh, you are not interested in looking at uh, birds and treetops and aeroplanes. You're interested in traffic and only in traffic. Uh, little kids on bicycles, of course. But you're not interested in anything in the sky. So the top of the mirror should be around the horizon, not much higher than that. And uh, that's your up and down setting. Your in and out setting, right and left setting, is uh, you don't really need to see your car. Uh, I hope you're not going to be running into yourself. So you need to see maybe the door handle. Actually, I usually have my mirror set so I can't see my door handle. I'm interested in traffic, not my own car. I took a look at my car before I got in it and uh, that's fine. I've seen enough of my car. Now I'm interested in looking at other traffic so I can avoid sideswiping them or something. So you're interested in traffic and not looking at your own car. If you do want to see your own car, you just tilt your head. So this is the sweet spot on a mirror. That would be on the left mirror would be the top right hand corner. That's where most of the traffic will be. And uh, that's the traffic passing in the next lane. If you're they're passing in the third lane, it'll be uh, the traffic will be more off to the uh, left upper mirror. But most of the traffic right next to you, the next lane will be in the top right hand corner, just like that. So that would be your sweet spot. And uh, of course, you never want to put a convex, a stick on convex mirror in that location because you're blocking off a major important part of your mirror. Uh, typically they put the convex mirror, if they want to use a stick-on mirror, they will put it in the uh, top outer portion of the mirror because that portion is not used very much. Uh, typically uh, that'll be the sidewalk off on the left or a ditch off on the left. Most of the action is happening in the top right-hand corner of your driver's mirror. Now, I have my auxiliary convex mirror on the bottom, and it's carefully adjusted for a maximum field of view. So I have no blind spots on the left side of my car. On the right side, I have the typical convex mirror. And uh, these convex mirrors, really, if you set them up properly, uh, this is how it should be set up. Uh, there will be no blind spots at all. You do not have to shoulder check if you have your mirror set up properly. So again, with the uh, right passenger side mirror, the top upper left-hand corner is where your action is. That is your sweet spot, and uh, that's where most of the action will be taking place. And as promised, at the very end of this video, we're going to have a little portion on proper design of mirrors for all you engineers out there. This is best practices for proper design of mirrors. Well, the reason is simple. For quite a few years, Car manufacturers have been designing mirrors with useless inside edges on their mirrors. So quite a bit of the mirror is squandered. This is a typical example of a poorly designed mirror. 
as you can see, about a quarter or a third of the mirror is squandered looking at the car, which doesn't help us very much. So first of all, we're going to show you examples of uh, backwards, poorly designed mirrors. And here's a few examples of better designed mirrors that don't squander valuable field of view. So this is an example of a well-designed mirror. So for automobile engineers out there who want to design the perfect mirror, this is how it should look. So until next time, drive safe everybody!